Salt. I'm out at the Southwest Purdue Ag Center to meet with Valerie Klingerman, Purdue Extension Ag and Natural Resources Educator in Knox County, to talk about weeds and their management. Today, we will untangle your thoughts on morning glories and fine weeds by looking at ivy leaf morning glory, pitted morning glory, and hedge vine leaf. Today we'll be discussing plants in the morning glory family. And it, common ones in Indiana include morning glories and bindweeds, and so we're going to discuss how to tell those plants apart. So looking at the morning glories, we have many different types of morning glory species in Indiana, so this can make them very hard to tell apart. One of the ID and characteristics, though, is to look at the plant's cotyledons, or the first leaves that come um, grow with the plant. So morning glory cotyledons often resemble kind of a butterfly, um, butterfly wings. So there is an example right here, and this is a uh, tall mor or pitted morning glory, and you can see that it's got those um, butterfly wings. It's also got this kind of heart-shaped leaf, and then of course it vines and will cover things. All right, looking at ivy leaf morning glory, once again it has those uh, butterfly-shaped cotyledons. Uh, but it also has this very distinguishable ivy looking leaf, this three lobed um, leaf, um, to, which makes it very much easier to identify. So comparing the morning glories versus the bindweed, um, the bindweed will also vine and cover other plants, um, but it also, um, the cotyledons are more box shaped. So they look like a little bit of a box and then there's a little indentation at the tip of that cotyledon. Um, also, they tend to be kind of pretty level up here at the top of the, the leaf. Uh, I've heard other, some folks say that it kind of looks like dog ears, the way the dog ears kind of pop up and then you have the dog snout down there, so it kind of looks like a dog's face. Um, but those are some of the, and this is hedge bindweed, um, we also have field bindweed in Indiana. These can be very problematic to control. Uh, just because they vine and so it can be hard. They get very large, so controlling them when they are very small at this, at this stage versus when they're this stage um, is critical. Um, if you decide to use chemical control options, um, glyphosate products alone will not probably work. You'll have to tank mix it with other products. Didn't find the weed you were looking for? Check the links below for more Purdue Extension related weed information. Again, I'm Thomas Alt. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click that like button.